<laughs> Rob Bin. Anthony back from vacation. <laughs> his uh, his flight home was a complete nightmare. And oh, look, today would have been a nice day to fly, by yes, the way. It oh, yeah, yeah. Beautiful. It's beautiful out there. Beautiful, but no, I decided to fly on the day. Uh, I guess everybody was dying on the East Coast. Yeah, tornadoes. Tornadoes all over the place. All over the South. North Carolina, I think uh, Raleigh. Raleigh, right? Raleigh. Raleigh was hit pretty good. So, Raleigh. Raleigh. But the two week cruise itself was great, huh? Oh, God, it was fantastic. What a blast. Just, uh, and uh, uh, you brought up a, a point. What? Um, that uh, I actually went on some excursions. Yeah, because we were talking before the show, and uh, I, I would assume you would just stay in your lovely suite for two weeks, but you were tweeting, uh, and actually yeah. you texted a couple times that, uh, yeah, I'm doing this mm. and that. Yeah, I usually don't, uh, you know, uh, leave uh, the ship go the, very far. I've done some things, you know. Yeah. Now nah, you were you definitely did more this time than yeah than, than usual. No. Yeah, went. Um, I got a weird text from Anthony. It said, Dear Eva, never get off the fucking boat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was a, uh, just a fucking great weather. It's amazing when you can spend two weeks and not see rain. It's just not raining. It's beautiful and sunny. It's weird to the see whole the whole time. It's weird to see the sun every day, right? Yeah, it was great. It was hot. Like, not just warm, just fucking hot. I love that jungle heat. It's great. You have monkeys running around. It's fantastic. Usually I wouldn't like that, but yeah, they're I fantastic. Know. No, I'm just Everyone's saying. Everyone's making their jokes. No, well, I'm not no joke, yeah, but they're fun. They're cute. They weren't hurting anybody. It was fantastic. The cute little face. These little hands and stuff. Where, where, where's this monkey from? Were you walking around the rainforest? It's from Mexico. But were you walking around in the rainforest? Or, or, was this, hell, yeah. or was this a controlled uh, situation? Oh, this was an environment, yeah. Oh, a, okay. a little monkey environment. Okay. But they had other things too, you know. But birds, you know, birds, stupid birds, stupid birds. Fucking hate birds. And you know, big zip lines and bridges and things. Did you that zip you line? Do. I didn't zip line. I saw oh, the people zip line. Why what is zip, zip line? line? I wanted to hang out with the monkeys. What is zip line? You were scared to zip line. <laughs> no, no, I would have zip lined. I would zip line. Look cool. I have a kid zip lining. I've never zip lined. I want it? it so badly. They set up these friggin' cables from treetop to treetop, and you hold on, and little platforms, and and you click on and. Like and the that. whole time you're walking around, you just hear. Why didn't you do are, that? People are zip line around. It's like traffic up there. Why didn't you do that? I don't want a zip line. How about no? Why would you? There's fucking bees all over. What are you gonna zip line right through a hornet's nest? <laughs> What's the fuck that? That would suck. You imagine you zip line, and all of a sudden you see a bunch of bees have landed on your location, <laughs> and you're fucking doing eighty into them. Why wouldn't you want to do that? Never. Why? Why? Take the tram to Roosevelt Island. <laughs> it's safer. <laughs> <laughs> you got harnesses and stuff. You got a hard hat. Yeah, they could give you a hard hat, a and harness, then, a safety and line. Z and they were just people zipping and zinging everywhere. That's cool. I can't believe you didn't do that. Watching some of the employees leave the tree on the zip line was kind of funny. <laughs> right. I'm just saying, it is kind of funny. They they're very good at it. Is all I'm saying. Were some of the zip lines pretty impressive over yeah. some, some height? Over some major height. Fuck. And they were getting guys that could get some speed up and Where stuff. Where can we zip line around here? Uh, I don't think they got zip line Let's in America. Let's get a zip line trip together. Would you this go, Jimmy? Lawsuit city. No, I would not go. Here's why they don't have it in America. Because no, it's not yeah. safe. No, we have it in America. Let's <laughs> all relax. <laughs> I know we have it in America. Let's let's calm down. Do they have I'm, it in America? I'm sure. I'm sure that's right upstate. We could do some zip lining. I, I'm positive. You think they could do zip lining upstate? Yes, it's everywhere. It's becoming the thing. It's becoming a thing. It's the thing in America. Yeah, with rope bridges and zip lines. Zip oh. lining is becoming a thing. Zip lining is taking off. <laughs> you guys have a wonderful zip lining excursion, <laughs> Hunter Mountain. There you go. Cool. That's very close to here. Hunter Mountain that's does what, zip two lining. Two hours away, maybe. I did not know that. I'm fucking zip lining this spring. Let's go. Who wants mm -hmm. in? Um, I I don't think I'd zip line. You said especially you would. in the U.S. No, no, I mean, it just it sounds like... It would be like, safer in the U.S. than Mexico. Yeah. It sounds like it would be cool uh, in Mexico or somewhere, but not there. Look, look at this guy, Carolina man. Oh, you're so right. Zip line in Hawaii recently, a quarter mile long, half mile in the air over a ravine. Fucking amazing. Why wouldn't you do that? I don't doubt that it's uh, quite Fuck. amazing. <laughs> Quite amazing. But. Anyway, you decided to hang out with the monkeys instead of the zip liners. If yeah, I had the choice the between zip lining 
and, and having a spike shoved up my asshole and being carried that way. I'd take zip lining, but I'd have to think about it. But you don't do stuff. Why don't I do you a lot do of stuff? stuff? I, do, I always do stuff. I just don't swing from tree to tree by a fucking, by a rope. Yeah, I don't do that. I do lots of stuff. Yes. You don't do stuff. I love doing stuff. You don't do much. Why, my nickname is the Stuff Kid. You don't do much. <laughs> Let's be honest. You don't like doing stuff. I do. Yeah. I just do different stuff. What was the last stuff you did? <laughs> what do you consider stuff? Anything. I mean, um. You went to a prison. Went to yeah, a you prison? went to a prison. That sounds right. cool, right? Yeah. Fucking. Um, and then there was that one time you went for sushi. Columbus. I fucking when me and Kenny were in Columbus. I fucking did fucking morning press. Yeah. Oh, relaxed. Oh, okay, Did see. You, before we get back to Ant, you do understand my text message to you from the other night, right? I went to our sushi joint that you brag about. Oh, yeah, it's the best. I had the worst fucking time there. Oh. Because I ordered what you order. That's I was trying to make it hurt, and you were like, yeah, whatever, dude, I'm busy. I, no, I love that stuff. It was the uh, it was the chef special. Oh, yeah. no. It was horrendous. I How love the chef I love the chef special there. I think I had raw lobster. Oh, Jesus. Don't ever eat raw lobster. It's no, disgusting. No, that's screw you up. Dude, it was so bad. And it was $300 for two of us. Holy yeah. shit. And we weren't really drinking. I had a beer, I think, and she had a little uh, wine, one glass each. Yeah, I love the, that place. We had the kid with us. It was $300. I'm like, this isn't $300 worth of good sushi. Yeah. The chef special, so they, they decide what you want to eat. Yeah, they decide. I don't like but, them deciding. And then it's a sushi joint where they don't want you to use wasabi or soy sauce. I mm. use it. Because they have special sauces on each of their Fuck fish. That. I say, where's the wasabi and soy? I always ask for it. Bring it. It, it was so bad, it was laughable. We started laughing how bad my sushi tasted. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and then I realized maybe I don't have a good palate. <laughs> maybe I do like this basic shit. I like to I like to think I, I like exotic shit, but... Yeah. I it, love almost everything I've had there. I love. Really? Yeah. I should have went with the tuna special they have, where they have the different tunas with different sauces, but... Ah, oh. This thing was horrendous, man. Yeah. So I'm writing Jimmy. <laughs> I'm like trying to make this it hurt. sucks. <laughs> Took your recommendation. <laughs> I, was, I was joking, obviously. I was but only then joking. Then he didn't even get it until the end, and finally, whatever. Aww. All right, so you're with the monkeys down there on uh, vacation. With the, the monkeys. Uh, that was just part of it. The ship was great. It was the uh, the uh, uh, Norwegian uh, cruise line. Epic. Do you feel the thing moving? Yeah. So when you're sleeping and stuff. Yeah, it depends on the weather. Sometimes you don't feel anything, but coming into, uh, I guess like coming into Nassau, a little bumpy. Uh, we felt a little, yeah, it was it was rocking that but night. You don't really get seasick, right? That no, shit is no. old, old school, isn't it? I do get seasick on boats. If I if I'm on a um, let's say one of these charter fishing boats out of Long Island or something, well, of course, and, and they're it's moving like that, I will get seasick. But uh, on a cruise ship, never got seasick. Wait, wait, ever. wait, wait. Charter boat, Long Island, huh? Yeah. Mm hmm What? Nothing. Oh shit. You're on the short list, sir. Uh, I I've heard that. I've heard I'm on that serial killer short list. Ronnie B put you on the short list. You put me on I the short list. I had nothing to do with it, sir. But now I'm hearing about a charter boat. I'm gonna have to report charter that to boat Ronnie. Out there, I get seasick. Charter boat, hmm. Long Island, huh? Interesting. And did by sea means a letter. <laughs> hates women. Did you did you um, hmm. go fishing? Uh, I have been fishing. The last um, time you were on a charter boat. That was a long time ago. How long ago? Well, older than those fucking women were dead. <laughs> Longer than that. <laughs> sure. I'll tell you that. We all know we're going to know this fucker. I'm telling They're you right looking, now. I'm I know. telling you right now. This guy isn't brought in with an O&A fucking <laughs> homeless shopping right spree now. shirt. <laughs> a fucking O&A party. This serial killer thing is <clears throat> taking over Long Island. I was at FH over the weekend. Yeah. They're all talking about it, too. They're like, oh, it's got to be the guy that comes in on Tuesday nights and uh, sits over there. Everyone is trying to figure out who this We all this have our theories is. around here on who it is. Yeah. It's creepy, man, because that's our area. When you go to the yeah. beaches, that's where we go. That's where you go. If you want to go you know, to the ocean. Aren't they predominantly uh, Hewas? People don't seem to care about uh, hookers uh, Wars as much. Yeah, when serial killers are just getting hookers, they but don't the, seem to care as much. There was much. a five-year-old, though, in, in the pile. 
Yeah, with a parent or something like that. But I guess that's one of the hookers that brings the kid along oh, for the ride. Cray, that's cray cray. Here's Thank why people don't care about hookers as much. Because we, the randomness of serial killers or, or is what makes them so scary. Yes. And most of us are not hookers, so it's like we know, like, whew, okay, safe. I'm not in the demo. You're safe. Yeah. When, when, when it was the uh, son of Sam, people were freaking out because anybody. that was just, could have been anybody. Was, most around. white people yeah. weren't scared of the Atlantic killers because it was all black, so being killed. Right. Like, you know, mm -hmm. most of that, your demo. All right. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, so yeah. you do get seasick. Yeah, but not on these cruise ships. They're so big and just fucking. They, they have st the shit these things have. I love watching the shows. Sometimes at, at night, you're laying around. Even a bad show shows. On a cruise ship, right? Hey, why not? Not not a show show, a TV show. Uh, oh, on, I thought you meant you never went to. No, I went to some of the shows. Okay. Let me. Man, oh boy. Yeah, but those are fun because they're so bad. That's true. A couple were really good. Uh, one I I refused. I absolutely refused to go to. Mm. Uh, but the <laughs> yes. Um, but uh, the the ship itself, all the the workings and gadgetry that keep it moving and and keep it stable and stuff, are really amazing. These modern day cruise ships. Is it are crowded? Sick. Um, not where I was. No, I understand that. But when you were just kind of no, wandering it wasn't around. that bad. It wasn't that bad. I think the economies kept uh, the people down. I'm trying to talk. That's to, um. I'm trying to talk my girl into going just because I we've never been on you know a huge cruise ship. I yeah. I, I, I was on a cruise ship in. Uh, the Greek Islands, but that was a smaller ship. They yeah. had nothing like what you had going. This is these are cool as fuck, man. They they got water slides on them and rock walls and all kinds of fucking bullshit going on. Right. And then and then we were in the villas. They're called the villas, Ooh. and they're the big suites Jesus. that are on the bow around the bow of the ship, or just over the bridge. And it's uh, could Sam get better pictures so I could follow along? Yeah, I know. Well, he's not just Dan's pictures. Go to the go to the official cruise site. I want to. I want to see some pics. The villas. Sam's really terrible on the computer. How many villas yeah. are there? Um, the, the ones I had, there were two. And then uh, there are a few other ones around the perimeter. But then in the middle of all these is your own private area that the people with, from the villas are the only ones that could get into. And that's got a pool area and a bar and a gym. How many people and have access all kinds to of other shit. Um Just the people 20, that are staying in the villas. 30? So, yeah, around there. Jesus. And yeah, it's Did you not have the crowded. best uh, suite on the whole ship? Yeah, there's only two of them. And you, and that was it. That's yeah. top of the line. You top, can't go any higher. Top of the line. Wow. How was the gym? Oh, it was uh, wonderful. Jacuzzi I and stuff? did not gym. go to the gym. Why would you go to the gym? I know. I, 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 Keith and Andrew went to the gym a couple of days. I was like, you know what? I'm on vacation. My train is coming over today. He's going to beat the shit out of me, but... I was like, fuck that. Is he gonna, and then the excursions. Is he going to start by squeezing the alcohol out of you? Yeah. yeah how about that? <laughs> ring me out. It's going to ring you out and then finally get to your workout. <laughs> Can you imagine? It's going to give you a million bear hugs. <laughs> <laughs> ring me out. Please ring me out. That's the ship. Was there a lot of drinking? Uh, yes, yeah, some days more than others. Some days I just took, especially if I was doing an early excursion, I would try not to drink so much. That's a little crappy room. My God, what are you looking at? That garbage. Go to the villas. <laughs> you don't know how to work a computer. You really don't, you villainous fool. And, uh, yeah, the uh, the excursions were enough exercise, believe me. We went on some, sure. some long walking excursions and shit like that. Uh, and then nothing is cuter than a dolphin. I got to tell you, I went to two dolphin excursions. I hate dolphins. I do too. Why? Because I fuck you. You don't. You don't like a dolphin cute? A tuna net. <laughs> didn't we talk about? Didn't we talk? That's great. <laughs> a cove. <laughs> oh Jesus! A bloody red. Exactly. Cove. Hey, give uh, me that fucking flipper, idiot! <laughs> Just slice his flipper off and kick him in the cunt. Back to the water, fruit. <laughs> Did we talk about the dolphins when you were here before you went away? Where it's all it's a, it's bullshit. They don't. There's no real interaction going on between you and the dolphins. Yes, really. It, yeah, it's the trainer behind you with the fish making it do all this stuff. And I'm thinking it actually wants to say hi to me. You think it's it's on its side flipping its yes, flipper? Yes, I want to think that. that he's actually waving to you. But it just moves the trainer. Moves I pretty much to make uh, you feel like I was you're having to that. You're having a real interaction with a fucking fish. <laughs> yeah, I was. He's not a fish. He's a mammal. He's I, very intelligent. Is he in the water? Yeah. He's a fish. He's a fish. He's a fish with a vagina on his back. 
<laughs> Stupid assholes. What a dumb fucking thing that is. They were great. Blowhole. I want to throw a dolphin into Jello and watch him suffocate in deliciousness. <laughs> <laughs> Spies them. I was all in with dolphins until I fucking went on one of those uh, excursions. Well, this is and that. then swim out there, and he's gonna bring you back in. He's bringing you back in because he wants more fish from the trainer that's on the fucking shoreline. That's how they train him. You know, you gotta, you gotta kind of, uh, you know. I want to think that he really thought. I was drowning, and he's pushing me back into shore. No, nah, that ain't it. I know. So, go ahead. We went so, to two. Wow. We went to two uh, of these excursions. One in Mexico, which was just a ghetto-ass fucking really? poor couple of dolphins in a pond. What, what what fish was it? And they said it was a dolphin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? It's a big fucking <laughs> trout. I don't know what this was. But no no real interaction at all. They like, yeah, you know. Wait, do you go in the pond? Yeah, you go in there. And you stand uh, on this little ledge thing against the wall. Yeah, I know. And then the little guy comes around and you pet him. Oh, yeah. That's and the, shit. That's the crap I did. That was the, no, it was the shitty one. All right. So maybe I should redo this. That was the ghetto one. And then I have this uh, underwater uh, camera case, you know? And you put the, your Canon HD uh, video camera in there. And you can put it under the water. Bloop, bloop, and I'm fucking taking some underwater uh, that's shots. That's awesome. Until the guy goes like... Oh, the dolphin uh, does not know what that is, so you cannot use it in uh, the water here. I'm like, all right, what am I going to fucking mm -hmm. argue dolphin with the guy? Mm -hmm. Dolphin's looking at it. It was all cute and everything. His little dolphin face is right in the camera looking at this thing like oh, he's wow. freaking out. That's awesome. Man, I, 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 fucker, should let me continue doing it. It was fun. Yeah, what is the dolphin going to do to you? Nothing. I might try to fuck you to death. But... They, yeah, well, they do that with girls on their period. Do There's a few videos oh, yeah. that are hysterical, oh. where b boyfriend's trying to save his girlfriend. This bottle nose is just trying to shove his. Is there an bottle actual nose. video of this? Yeah, Please right up a that. vagina. Fuck the stupid cruise pictures. Yeah, get that fucking uh, dolphin trying to trying to nose the the girl's vagina. He probably he's trying to probably push. He probably thinks she's dying. He's probably trying to push her to shore. Yeah, she's bleeding. I have to yeah. help this woman. <laughs> he thinks a great white grabbed her crotch. <laughs> <laughs> her fucking brains are leaking out. <laughs> mm. Dolphin eats pussy is the uh, is the title. Yeah, but this only has four thousand views. How good could this be? I don't know. There now now the dolphin's swimming around. He's he's, he's down there. They're in little. Uh, they got some some fins on. Oh, what are they snorkeling with dolphins? Yeah. That would be cool. Yeah. Well, that would see, be that's, really. But cool. that's what I got to do. Fuck. See, that's the one at Atlantis. All right, I could accept that. Yeah. Now dolphin swimming around. I yeah. guess. Uh, Keep talking, and when we get to the actual... How long is this video? It's yeah, fucking just get endless. To the, get to the part where he's spearing yeah. her vagina exactly. with his bottle nose. There, see? Now, look, look. Oh, yeah. He wants that fucking pussy. Oh, ah, the dolphin's totally trying to get... Ah, 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 that's great. <laughs> She's trying to slam her legs shut and push the dolphin away. This dolphin wants her pussy so bad. Exactly. Nice. You got a rod? <laughs> does dolphin have a rod? It does. Look, it's try it's gonna fuck. Oh my her. god, he has a fucking ball a dolphin dolphin's dicks are not even that big. <laughs> no. Look at his his boyfriend's like, hey, Cock hey you. Ah he gets right in there. You're in his environment. What? Someone's filming this whole thing. Why doesn't yeah. the boyfriend punch the dolphin? Dolphin has a rod, I'll jerk him off. <laughs> <laughs> now the dolphin's trying to poke the guy in the dick. What? Trying the to get fuck? to the trying to get to her vag. A vagina. Well, that's a hell of an excursion. Yeah, that's fun. Yeah, Get you don't raped want by that. a fucking animal. A dolphin rape excursion is not fun, and but who, it will cost you extra. Who's got the camera, and why aren't they helping? See, if I saw this happening and I didn't know those people, I you'd help. get perfect footage like this, yeah, too. Yeah, of course. You're right. I wouldn't help. Oh, right. uh, but he is bottlenosing right <laughs> up. Oh, her, God, oh, he's God. right in there. That was penetration. <laughs> I think it, that bottlenose is pretty thick. And then he's going for... Uh, he what a cop blocker. That dolphin really wants some. Wow. And no one helps. No, no, no one's helping. Can't they just get out of the water? It, it looks like it's a pool. It looks so. No, it looks that, shallow. Uh, yeah. I think he's trying to protect it. Like, if they try to swim away, he's he's definitely fucking her. Right. Well, what happened? Now the, cam wow, the footage what an ended. Idiot. Right, dummy. Just ends his stupid video. Wow. Dolphin probably fucked the guy with the camera right in the mouth. Yeah. <laughs> So the second one at Atlantis, you got to do By this. By the way, excuse me, do you know how bad your pussy must smell for a sea animal to notice it in the ocean? Oh, my God. Do you oh. know the scent coming off your <laughs> vagina for it to be picked up underwater? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, yeah, it was uh, the, the ghetto one was in Mexico. And then uh, the Nassau 
uh, Bahamas, uh, Paradise Island, over there at Atlantis. Mm-hmm. That's a huge complex. Yeah. Got a bunch of different seg- sec- sections oh. and stuff. Man-made uh, cove, right? Yeah, yeah. Man-made little cove. I checked that out last year. You got year. a lot of nice dolphins in there. And then you do the whole dolphin experience thing where you don't just stand there and watch them do tricks and stuff. You get to um, actually swim <laughs> around with them. They give you these little power motor little things in your hands, and you go. That's awesome. And you get a snorkel and the fins and a mask, and and you go around underwater with them and 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 touch them, and then and then you give them a little kiss like that. You get a picture where you give them a little kiss. Oh God, I got you know, like that. I got one of those pictures. Yeah, I know. I'll post mine if you post yours. Then do you get the one where you put your arm on the bottom and the top of them, and he he kind of bends up and no. smiles and does that? No, no, got my a great dolphin one like was that. lazy. No, I got a great one. I and got the kiss one though. I'll tell you one weird thing though. When you look, when you, because you, you know, you think of it as a fish because it's kind of water, swimming around the water. It's got fishy little arms and a fishy fin on its back. But when you look at a little dolphin, the, the dolphin's eyes, mm-hmm. it's got that mammal thing going on. You know, when you look in a dog's eyes, it's like, yeah, mm-hmm. hey, this thing's thinking. Mm-hmm. You look at a dolphin's eyes, you're like, man, he's thinking. You're right. There's stuff going on. You're right. And he flips water at the trainer. It's like, bah, 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 and then they talk. They go. Bah, 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 bah. You throw them fish. Mm-hmm. They constantly throw them. It's fish. all about the fish. That's how they train them. You can't. Uh, you can't train them without the fish. Of course not. They love that fish. But they let you go in the cove without anybody really. Well, there's you. a. There's a. Yeah. There's a, a couple lifeguards there. or whatever. There's, there's a, a trainer a in course. there with it, and then they uh, then they put you on this this uh, like boogie board thing, and you lay out there in the middle of the cove, mm-hmm. and then they go, okay, now put your feet together, and just hold on. You go, oh man! And this bottlenose dolphin takes his little bottlenose, tucks it right on your foot, and then just wham, like swims really fucking fast, heads you right toward a wall, and and then goes off at the last second, and you just glide slowly in. Oh, they trust the dolphins to do the right thing. Yeah, Jeez. it's crazy. <laughs> See, that's what you do. You go around with those things, and you swim around with the dolphins. Yeah. What's that thing he's holding on to? It uh, propels you. To see, dude. It goes, and then he pulls you through, so you ain't got to really see, Jimmy, swim. You don't do things. Dolphins are faster. There's than another thing you are. could be doing. What? Fucking watching some chick I'm with get raped? <laughs> and a fucking an animal with an average heart on? <laughs> Jimmy doesn't do things. No, I don't. You know, I, I do. I fucking I watch Ozzy on YouTube. That's fun to me. That's what I like doing. That's it. Defend, want, defend your things. Jimmy. I like to watch Ozzy on YouTube That's and fucking fine. videos of people holding hornets. Other people would rather watch their chick getting almost raped by itself. Exactly. It was her assault. Yeah. <laughs> An assault. Exactly. All that fucking assault. All that dolphin needed was a fucking uh, sideways baseball hat. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> so that was uh, it for the uh, dolphin? Yeah, the dolphin uh, pretty much uh, sums that up. Uh, the, the, the Mexican one was real ghetto. Yeah. And uh, and the one in Atlantis And the one in cool. Atlantis was good. Hey, you the, walk around Atlantis? Uh, yeah. I was yeah. there a little over a year ago at this point, and it was, uh, a lot of under construction oh, going on. Oh, it's fucking, it's, it's great. They got their shit together again? I'd go, I'd be, I went down there for vacation a few times, and the I new would tower with the, go back um, again. With the adult pool. The rules. Cove. And over the, at the Cove, yeah, they call it the Cove. It's the Cove, a, right, right. A place. That area's really nice. No kids allowed, Uncle Paul. Huh? Not allowed. I hate the Cove. <laughs> <laughs> but the rest of the place was a little shaky. <laughs> They were really they were doing a lot of construction. Yeah, last yeah time they're building there. it up. Is Atlantis, Mexico, or no? No, nah, it's uh, uh, Bahamas. Bahamas. You, you would like Atlantis. Paradise I Island. would. I, that would definitely go there. You oh, would, Jimmy, nice. you would like Atlantis. You're nuts to go to Mexico. I wouldn't go near Mexico right now. I went to. Uh, yeah, it was. Fuck uh, that. We this took Mexico, ATV that rides okay. with the jungles of Mexico, and it was like I thought. All right, this is gonna be you know ATV, and I heard people going like, "Oh, ATV sucks." You know, you take you on the street. It's this, that, or the. Other. Why do ATVs suck? Because people were saying like they take you out, and it's just like with a guide on the street, mm-hmm. and you barely go anywhere. Mm-hmm. That wasn't this one. I went to the ghetto one also, where where you just go out on the street. What were you doing? One ghetto, one real. Yeah, it seemed to be that way. We went through jungles that were like, and I'm on the bus as they're taking us out there, and I'm just looking at some of these. People going, what the? F- you're 500 fucking pounds. You're not going to be able to do this. And I was right. They're just putzing along. So sometimes the guide would have to stop and wait. Blah, 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 blah. I'm doing it. 
and she turns into like into some bushes, uh. and then the guy has to tell her how to put it in reverse, uh. and I'm just like, bang, 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 and I, bumps I, that were crazy. I hate going with other people. I was that's catching the, what they call fat air. Fat air. That's the worst part of excursions. You have to go with other people. Yeah, yeah. I hate that. And more these than anything. bitches wouldn't shut up for a second on the bus. Mm -hmm. They just. And then I was talking to my father, and, uh, and uh, he we has were, a and tumor. This was, this, and it was, <laughs> I said, "Shut the fuck up for a second. Can I look out the window at the majesty of a fucking rainforest <laughs> without your fat fucking face just just talking?" <laughs> God, are they annoying. Well, Ugly how, American. How long was the bus ride? About three minutes. Yeah, three minutes. No, <laughs> it, was, it was a good brrr, over a half hour, 40 minutes. How, wow. And how many people on the ship? Uh, on the ship, there's thousands. And thousands. So if they got to just get a bus for thousands of no, people? No, no, no. It's only the people that want to do this one <laughs> Jimmy, excursion. Jimmy thinks it's, thousands of people. We're all ATV. going to ATVs. <laughs> Sorry, you don't have a choice. <laughs> no, there's a shitload of excursions you can oh, do wherever you are. Some people, stop. Uh, some people don't leave the boat. Some people just go to the beach. You sign up for excursions. They got like uh, places set up all over the place. Okay. This was about a bus. I'd say there were probably pff, 15 people on the bus. Okay. That was it. And they drive us out into the middle of this fucking Mayan ruins jungle. And uh, You see the ruins? Yeah. Cool. Right? around. There's some fucking, yeah, there's like uh, some graves and shit that were opened up. And, and wow. yeah, really twisted stuff was there two of you and, on one atv or each nah, on separate you could do two on one but the separate it was it was so fucking treacherous and bumpy and like ruts and real holes and rocks that you're going over so they were fun allow, as fuck and they don't allow that in america this no is the, no this is the thing we talk about you get to do way cooler stuff when you're out of the country no it's mexico they don't have lawyers involved mexico it's like good luck to you here's your atv there's a lot of ditches and shit it's out like, there. believe me that's the Not least fun. that could happen that's true but i watch videos online of car accidents and wrecks and you know what you see legs ripped off everywhere but here they're always in Brazil or Mexico. Those horrible car accident videos, they're everywhere where there's no lawyers. Sometimes lawyers yes. help. Jimmy, you don't do stuff. I love that, doing that's stuff. That's the theme of this hour. I love that, doing stuff. What about an ATV? Would what about you do it? A, would you do the ATV? You see what happened to Ozzy? He almost died. No, I wouldn't. So, on an ATV. So no zip line, no dolphins, and no ATV. No, I don't fucking yeah. belong there. So what do you do when you do stuff? Depends. I, I go to uh -huh. prisons. Yes. I fucking I went to the Mythbusters compound. That's, that's nice. doing stuff. I'm going to fucking I'm going to see God bless Ozzy Osbourne next Sunday. That's doing that's a, stuff. That's uh, uh, his that's documentary. Stuff. Yes, that's stuff. I went and saw Robin Williams play this week. How was it? Very good. I thought I was supposed to go with you. What happened? I just went. Was, it was last minute. Hmm. I'm going to see Chris Rock's play this week. I, I do a lot of stuff. How was the yes. Robin Williams play? It was interesting. It was uh, he's a phenomenal. Everyone in there is phenomenally uh, well acted. He's hmm. phenomenally well acted. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's mm -hmm. about Iraq. That means it's, you didn't like it. I did like it. It's a very. Because you're just talking about the acting. Oh. Well, that's the best part of it, is the acting. Is it a funny play? It's got humorous moments, but it's not a comedy. It's a drama. Why won't. I'm, why wouldn't Robin just a do comedy? a comedy? He's a real actor. He can, he can do that. Yeah, he can do right. theater acting. He's a Shakespearean actor. Well, that is true. You shut me down. You're right. Uh, he, he, he went is, to Julia. pretty good. Remind me to talk about Spider Man. Oh, my God. They shut that, it down. That debacle. Yeah. Why? But let's get back to him. Yeah. That was we, going so well. We'll do all the stuff today. <clears> but so, yeah. so now you're ATV in Mayan ATV ruins. ATV in the jungle, Mayan ruins, dude. Are was, you allowed to climb up the ruins? <laughs> the ruins, dude. Yeah, you climb up some steps and shit, That's and you see some rocks, cool. and you're just like, who put that rock there? A long time ago. It was a long time ago. Someone put that rock there. Shit. Yeah. But do they have the people selling all the shit? No, this is, dude, it's in this the was, middle of nowhere. This was one of the ones in the middle. Yeah, this was one of those where it, there was nothing around. It was it was really cool. Is there homeless people hanging around or anybody? No, not in the, this was the middle of the jungle. I was waiting for a cartel guy to come out and just blast us all. That's why you're fucking crazy to go near Mexico. The Mexican yes. jungle right now, you're I in know. your mind. I know, believe me, I thought about it, but it was like, bah, what are you going to do? And then wait, we wait, went wait, to the. So what is it all just grown in and stuff? Yeah, it's it's uh, there are the the trails that you're on. Yeah, I got that. But uh, other than that, yeah, there's there's nothing oh, there but but God, rainforest and trees and big iguanas hanging out in the trees. Oh, I'm jealous. Like, fucking iguanas. Did you check out iguanas, Jimmy? No, for what? <laughs> <laughs> fucking ugly lizards. Oh look, he's sticking his tongue out again. We got it. That's what you do. I'm a fly faggot. What would you rather do instead of look at look at an iguana? Anything. <laughs> Anything. <laughs> Name a thing and i would rather do that it, this the, the, right now the choices the world is your oyster name 
anything. anything. And that fucking trumps iguana <laughs> by at least two things. But you do things. I love doing things. Yeah, Jimmy does things. I enjoy my yeah. life very much. I, kn- I travel know. a whole got a lot. Great life. He does travel a lot. Sure. He just doesn't gone. want to see an iguana. I have no desire to see no a iguana, giant no fucking lizard. Lines, no dolphins and no ATVs. Exactly. And no Mayan ruins. The Mayan ruins I would see if it wasn't for the fucking fact that people are being beheaded in Mexico. <laughs> that's true. That's that's kind of put the damn, the fucking kibosh on Acapulco I in Mexico for took, me. I took my ATV to go see Sosa. Yeah. <laughs> it's a jungle. <laughs> you get off the ATV and walk around the... the yeah, yeah, you roads. go around and... Can you uh, go inside some of this shit a little bit? No, you just kind of crawl up on them and stuff. Okay. There's, there wasn't really anywhere to go inside. And then the guy gives you a little history on it. That's awesome. Tells you what it was. This is the Mayan temple of love and fertility. It was used for the... All right. Come on, back to the bumps. Exactly. Stay out. Get some air. In 5,000 years, people are going to be walking through our apartments. <laughs> yeah. How fucking horrible is that? They're going to dock a ship on fucking the west side, and people are going to walk through our apartments. Hey, this is where, you know, <laughs> you'd have friends come in who could have been men in dresses. <laughs> this is where they would put their big shoes. <laughs> I love all this shit, though. Our Dude, business. the ruins. <laughs> Remember that one, Bobby yeah. did that idiot looking for spirituality. All we were doing were Chip oh, and good. Bobby impressions. Oh, good. It's the same it thing. All ch- every time it was like, what time do we have to come back to the ship? What's that? <laughs> no. The ship. No. Stop it. <laughs> every fucking two seconds. Look at that. It's a ruin. Who, who ruined it? Yeah, exactly. Mayans. <laughs> Mayans, Yorins. Who's whatever Who's it is? I don't know. Who, we don't even know who it is no yeah. more. Rainforest. It was all about that. And then... Bobby with the Mayan ruins, dude. <laughs> and then, uh, of course, because uh, uh, Keith and Ange went snoobing. Snooba, dude, you do your snooba. What is snoobing? It's a cross between yeah. snorkeling and scuba diving. You don't know what this is? No. Bobby, Wait, went, Bobby went off on this and how cool it was. He must have been filling in for you because it's, it's one of the greatest hours of radio it, it, ever. We ripped the shit out of I, Bobby. I guess Jimmy was gone. That's probably day. gone. So when we were uh, uh, this setting is snoob- up to do this. <laughs> no, I don't think that's the one he did, is it? What what they do is they have this big uh, (laughs) kind of a flotation device thing, and they put the scuba tanks on that. And then from that, a bunch of lines come down. Okay. And instead of having a a scuba tank on your back, you breathe through a regulator from that. Sure. Air air source. Right. <clears throat> See, basically, it's like a puppet show. You're all fucking... Yes, a yeah. marionette. <laughs> but uh, I didn't do that. I was just snorkeling with the snooba people, and I had the underwater camera, so I was able to take some pictures of the... Uh, uh, some video of the snooba, snooba people. Uh, Keith and Angie and stuff, and, and fish. And How little... far down can they go in snoobaing? They were down about 20 feet, I guess. Somewhere around that. You know? And then with the snorkel, though, you can pretty much... Unfortunately, you know, you got to breathe, so you got to come back up. But I was going down to the same level as the snooba people, holding on to shit because I didn't have a weight belt. Well, so cool. I'm like grabbing this door off of the Edmund Fitzgerald or whatever the fuck it was, and I have the camera in one hand, and I'm trying to like video a fish. And you kind of get you kind of get caught up in the moment where you're like, oh, I want to get a good shot of that fish, you know? And then you realize I gotta fucking breathe. And you look up and go, nah, nah, that's a long way up. You can hold your breath that long? I wonder if I'm going to make this. <laughs> yeah, it's like, and then I get up and be like, huh, huh, I, uh, I don't think you got to blow the snorkel. I got, <laughs> just blow it out. Yeah. I can't hold my breath that long. It was cool. You can tell on the video when I'm trying to uh, get down because it gets all shaky. Yeah, yeah. It's so hard you're to, trying to fucking push yourself, down. push yourself down. And it's work, you know, and you're like. You're not breathing, but you're working, and then you're grabbing onto something to keep your, yourself steadied. So it was pretty fucking cool, though. And Did they the bring their kids thing. or no? Uh, no, no. See, that's sometimes you got to do that. You got to just get yeah. away. When, when are you uh, gonna post these videos? Because I got to see them. Now. I just, you know, got got home uh, so, so Sunday, but yeah, I'm I'm gonna start popping some of these up because they're, they're they're really cool. I think I have a couple on this computer. You can probably take a look. This is one of the computers that I actually took on carry on, mm. so I'm uh, I'm so able to have it. I have a Windows computer that is in I mean, one of my computer. bags, and uh, anybody that wants to rifle through my bags, there's plenty of valuables. Fantastic. So <laughs> bastards. So the ATVs. Baggage American Airlines. The ATVs were good. ATVs were good, and, and then we went to uh, more ATVs on St. Martin. ATVs. Which, uh, oh my God. Okay. Good man, just go. And then you're on the street. You're on the street on these ATVs 
with fucking like tractor trailers in the other lane coming past you. Like this ain't like the jungle. Wow. This isn't like uh, the fun thing. So where 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 are you supposed to go? He takes you around to some shitty beach. It looked like Crab Meadow <laughs> on Long Island. It was horrible. You don't like Crab it Meadow. Was, I hate Crab Meadow. It stinks of seaweed, low tide. Yeah, that's not. And there's the no beaches. waves. It's just these little ripples that come up. And then you sit on this beach for a minute, and then he's like, "All right, everybody, load back up." And you can't really get speed up. And 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 shit. I'm trying all kinds of things. Like I'm, I'm fishtailing on the street, just what? trying to have some fun. And that was your second ATV ride. Yeah, that was the second one. Oh, that's a bummer because that takes mm. away the first one when that happens. No, nah, it made me think. Wow, that first one really ruled. It was really cool. Yeah, yeah. The second one was just kind of like, ah. and and the, the the ATVs themselves were like street legal and not. They were like knockoffs. Mm. The ones we have for the jungle, like massive shocks sure. and, and like a two foot fucking travel. On the shocks and everything. This one, it's like, all right, it's meant for the street. And I think they're trying to take the ATVs away from the people, right? Especially on Long Island. We could speak yeah. locally. I mean, they don't want you jet ski on Long Island anymore. No, And, and I, no. I think they're trying to make it harder to ATV as well. Yeah, and that was real ghetto because they were just taking us through the streets. So we were just videotaping profound poverty. <laughs> it's amazing, the poverty in these countries. And all I can think is, like, this is literally paradise. You have beautiful beaches, mm -hmm. a lot of land that isn't developed. And uh, I think Keith said this This place, uh, two words describe it. Um, procrastination and uh, uh, like laziness or just, just not. I, 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 it was cinder blocks. It's like guys went to work and decided, let's build something. Mm -hmm. And he they, they put up some cinder blocks and then go, bah, fuck it. And then they go, let's leave. And by the way, just leave the truck there, too. <laughs> Abandonment. That was it. Abandonment and procrastination. Why would you work if the beaches were so nice, though? But oh. that's just it. They could build these paradises. They live in poverty. What could they build? A fucking resort, something. No, the, the the big guys from like America and Europe are doing that. I don't know. There's... And then they're getting the locals to work there for no money. Well, if the locals... They can't figure that out. Why can't the locals figure out how to build a resort kind of a thing? It doesn't even have to be a giant resort thing. It could be something that's more than three cinder blocks and a tin roof selling tacos. Isn't it nice to see that the resorts put a little money back into the island? Oh, God. <laughs> doesn't when, matter what island you go to. When you are you off compound, the, you, wow. Yeah, you drive through the ghettos to get to the most amazing fucking uh, oh. resorts <clears throat> and realize... Whoever owns those resorts takes their money with them. Oh, they do not spread the wealth nope. on those islands. And, you know, fuck them. They shouldn't. These people live in, in what I say, like paradise. You think they're sad, though? Oh, I've seen. We were passing I've, I've by I've seen people nothing but happy locals where when I'm I like, go on vacation. What is this guy doing? One guy just stood there, mm -hmm. and, and we went by, and he goes, hey! And he held a fish up. <laughs> he just goes, hey! <laughs> and other people are just sitting on their patios and porches just looking at traffic doing nothing but they're not sad i couldn't tell there was no expression they probably have it easy yeah i'm sure they're thrilled to fucking live in the shit houses they live in and watch fucking fat tourist zip <laughs> by on atvs do you get to see blue water like that that's what they get to see every day. Yeah. How about Look you build aqua. something nice? That's aqua all they blue. get to see is blue water. Blue water's Ow. nice, but it's not all you can see. It gets uh, old after a while. How sure about does. you build something nice? They don't know how to do that. And and, and you use it uh, to make money for the island and yourself and and what have you. You know? Mm. Uh, that part of it was getting me kind of a little... Eh. Like Nassau, right? Nassau has a thriving little metropolis... That's probably one block by one block, <laughs> and then the rest is shit. <laughs> yeah. But that middle part, it's wonderful. They got banks and the ride from the airport to and... Atlantis is oh wow, yeah, that yeah. should be an amusement park ride. Bad, yeah. wow, yeah, it's just total poverty. Yeah, it's uh... Uh, the po the poverty is just astounding, and uh, you know, you, of course, you got to show your ID to get back on the ship because I guess they don't want people piling on mm -hmm. where there's you know hey well, that's, it's our food it's our <laughs> beer what are you doing <laughs> but it was uh all in all uh, just a great great time two fucking weeks in the caribbean i was like a pirate it's fantastic you great didn't go where they are right 
Where? You went nowhere with this Pirates. Nah, nah. Oh, that's Caribbean. What what <clears throat> what islands did you hit in two <clears throat> weeks? Oh Do you remember? God. Give me the All give right, me the like, quick list. Uh, yeah, Saint Martin, uh, Saint Thomas, um, Cozumel, yeah, somewhere else like Honduras, and then uh, uh, what else? Uh, Nassau. Uh, and when do they take off? Like dinner time, and then you wake yeah, up around in, there, and then you wake up in another area. Yeah, you go you, you go there all that. all day. You spend all day like where they stop, and um, then you get back on the ship, and the ship leaves. You have dinner. You go to the casino. Uh, you win money until the you know last couple of days that you're on the ship, and then you you pretty much give it all back. <laughs> oh really? <laughs> oh boy, did I have a bad bad. Uh, couple of days there well, you thought, i was doing really well well you tweeted the one picture with the cash yeah i i saw that and i just oh there it is that's a good one and i shook my head i'm like he won that way too early in this trip that's and that not wasn't good. near what i won really oh yeah that was crazy you gave most of it back i gave a lot of it back yeah yeah uh, yeah were you, were you being cranky at the casino uh, a couple of times for the most part though i was doing well so i wasn't being cranky i was i they loved me I was Mr. Anthony to everybody. And apparently the casino staff are the same people that work at like some of the restaurants are the same people that like do the mustard drill mm -hmm. with a life jacket thing and, and the same people that are out showing you where the excursions are. So every day it was like, hello, Mr. Anthony. Hello, Mr. Anthony. Mr. Anthony. Mr. Anthony. Everybody. And I'm, I'm throwing money around like Ralph Cramden. <laughs> I didn't care. I'm, I'm tipping this one and that one. Uh, and, and they treat you when you tip these motherfuckers early on, you are treated like royalty. That's the way to do it. If you're so you throw out a shitload of money at the beginning, yep. and whatever you need. Like I was able to call my concierge, and uh, if it was seven o'clock, I'd be like, I want a dinner reservation for four at whatever restaurant I wanted it at uh, at eight o'clock, and they're like, all right. Whatever you need. And then, you know, there's a line of people waiting to get in. You just, just walk like, right in. All right, thank you. So, now, the food on the ships is supposed to be pretty good, right? Yeah, yeah, it's really good. What would They have, like, a lot of snacks all over the place? All over the fucking place. Ooh. It's Snack City. I would love that. And, and then there's uh, a shitload. See, uh, uh, Norwegian is different than Royal Caribbean. Norwegian's more like, do what you want to do. Uh, Royal Caribbean sets up, like, the main dining room and has these shifts of very elegant dinners and stuff like that. And then they have buffets and other things. Uh, this uh, The Epic had a shitload of great restaurants. You want Japanese a tapanaki? Or you want steakhouse, Italian, whatever, Jap uh, Chinese, the noodle bar, fucking just a shitload of great restaurants. And this is all floating. I know. Sometimes I you sit it. there and just go like, I don't get it. Sometimes we were sitting there eating at a fine restaurant, and you look around and go, we're in a boat. In the middle of somewhere. I don't get yeah. that. I it's will never get that. It's just in the middle of the fucking that. ocean, and you're just, the amenities Like when you're on a boat, amazing. and you're with a bunch of buddies, and you got some rods, and... What? And, <laughs> <laughs> I, I had to maybe stop so you could have put that, that in a different way. <laughs> Three guys on a rowboat, maybe? You got, you got rods and you got some bait. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jimmy's my the Jewish rods. friend. <laughs> that commercial for racism? <laughs> <laughs> and I understand that you're on a boat. Yeah. But when you're looking around, there's a sushi chef. What I the, know. Uh, this, that, uh, well, you're hearing the clinging of... of, of uh, Silverware it on China make sense and, to me, and that it's just uh, it, it, it was great. Unbelievable. Great food. Would a week be enough time? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. A week is plenty of time. You should yeah. do a cruise. I've thought of it, but uh, my it. days have to be used for. Oh my other god! Stuff. It was really fucking cool, and the uh, like the, you t you tip the fucking butler guy. Holy shit! Every day when we came in from the excursion, our table was set with like little sandwiches and. And fruit all over the place, and drinks, and whatever the fuck else you want. And then I hosted a little cocktail party for all our guests. I was like, "Could you please, concierge? Could you please send an invite out to everybody and have him?" And then I went over with the butler. Yes, I need some of this and that, oh, and, and I had a little cocktail party. I, and for how many people? Uh, I guess it was about uh, twelve. Who 12 showed people. up? It was everybody that from our party. My aunt, and uncle, mom, dad. Oh, you had more family there. Yeah, yeah. A uh, Don Patrick, uh, oh, my cousin okay. Anthony. Yeah, we had, we had a lot of people down uh, down there. It was it was a great time with, with nice. that many people. It was fun, man. So it sounds like fun. Like I would love to do it for a week. I think two weeks would drive me nuts. Yeah, two um, weeks. 
You could get a Two lot weeks. done in a week. A fucking yeah, yeah. first class trip week. I would yeah, love yeah. to try that once in my life. I've to never go done. go top of the line yeah, for a week. I, and I would. You'd fucking love it. Starbucks yeah, on the ship. Yeah. Nice. But like, not, it, like no. it looks like a regular Starbucks. Yeah. And that's floating. Yeah, they got that. Can that's you floating. get snacks late though? Anytime. Ooh. Anytime you isn't want. It, isn't it pretty much all you could eat? On these cruise ships? Oh fuck yeah! So you're yeah, just yeah. wandering around eating whenever. There you are want. Cer- there are certain things that are um, completely. Uh, do you feel fat right now? <laughs> <laughs> I do feel a little pudgy. I did. Uh, I put on a little. That's why I, the trainer's coming over today to to ring you out. Start this. Yeah, uh, he's gonna ring you out. Start this over again. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, what are you gonna say? All right. Well, if anything else pops, you gotta let us know. Yeah. I think we covered your cruise. Though. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds like a great time. Yeah. It's it's just one of those fun fucking things. And then you got to come back and deal with no luggage and mm. fucking dumb broads texting you. <laughs> right, shut up, you fucking freak. <laughs> can we get into that? Oh, of course we can. You got I had had it. You got any voicemails? No, no, the voicemails unfortunately stopped, but I think that's because I was playing them on the air. <laughs> right. But the texts have quadrupled. Can we do that after the break? Oh, yeah. Are yeah. you happy to see me and Jimmy? Oh, yes. <laughs> It was. Well, you were doing all so that. Long. Me and Jimmy stared at each other for two weeks, <laughs> off and on. It's fun. <laughs> we had fun though. No, we had a good time. You were missed because we loved you. We, oh, we thank had a good. You. Uh, it was fun. We had some good days. Yeah. yeah, I think so. We definitely enjoyed ourselves. Oh, is that me going back to my shitty seat? Uh-huh. Oh my god. All right, we'll uh, we'll break it into some other things. Maybe more uh, stories from Ant's vacation. There's a picture of Anthony and Coach, and believe me. That looks more right than the first one you <laughs> of course, Twittered. Of course it does. That fucking hat you have on and your fucking <laughs> oh. your white trash hard liquor t-shirt. <laughs> That's where you belong. And I certainly do. And boys, Row 23, sir. <laughs> of course. D. <laughs> and boys, we are going to be doing some zip lining. <clears throat> where? Extreme Adirondacks. <clears throat> oh, man. You guys have fun, fun zip Thank lining. Thanks for, uh, thanks for that on Twitter, whoever you, you have are. You have fun. You're not going to zip line. I'm not going to zip line. <laughs> I like the zip. Line. I like watching the zip line people. They were they were fun to watch. So you wouldn't zip line? I don't think you were lying. No, no, I, I just I don't have an urge to zip line. Are you scared? I don't think I'm scared of the zip lining. I just don't want a zip line. Oh, uh, you fight anyone on vacation? That's coming in. Uh, any fights? Let me think. There was no 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 real fights. You do understand French guy underwater fight now, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. People do get kind of mixed up and when tangled up. When you have to deal with, uh, you know, other people. Shit like that. But I got everything. I, I got a little creeped out at one point with the with the camera. I took the camera, and I was uh, I was pretty far out. Pretty far the fuck out. And I'm like, this is cool. And then I realized I could kind of see what's going on in front of me. But if something just came out from the side or behind yeah, me, I'm so dead. And then I started getting this paranoid, like like something was creeping up on me feeling. Mm-hmm. And, and and so I turn around and I, I look, I, I pop back up, I take a look, and I'm really far off of shore. And I'm like, I I want to get back there. And then you almost start panicking, like I'm not getting there fast enough. So you just bloop go under. And then I notice my my flippers are really flipping. Like I'm really fucking oh, get me out of here. Because I, I start looking behind me. It's like there's nothing around me. Wait, where were you? Nah, I'm bathtub. No, were you in the oh, cove? No, 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 no. This wasn't uh, cove. This was out in the. Uh, don't ever go scuba diving. <laughs> well, scuba diving will freak you out because you you get a lot deeper and look into an abyss and. Well, yeah. Well, it turns yeah. to Caicos, where it drops yeah. all the way oh, down, God. and they let you go over the edge a little bit, you know, because I'm still doing with the Oh, there. Jesus. But then when you look into that just black yeah, yeah. water that you know goes for thousands of miles. That's what started freaking me out. Not not that. I never looked into it. And then you turn like around, that, and but... it's all like, oh, okay, I see coral and stuff. But yeah. But that darkness will scare you. I was looking as far you. as I could, and it was like. Holy shit! Something. If something comes out of there, yeah. it'll be so fast I won't be able to see. You know it. what? It's, it's similar. It doesn't matter. Yeah, the two are very similar. And then I, I'm going to fight them off with a camera housing. I always picture that there's just a massive fucking whale that is just out of sight underwater. <laughs> and that if you saw like a glimpse <laughs> of it, oh my, I would have just a glimpse. You'd I be would like, drop dead. I know you'd uh, die right there. I would there. drop dead. Massive whale, would you think it was one of our live events? <laughs> <laughs> That's good you didn't go for the, 
the other room. <laughs> oh, I hate you, Rock. I, I didn't even think of it. You got SeaWorld right next to you. Oh, shit. You got to fucking go with the He's listener. He's behind Joe. the glass. Tap on it. <laughs> oh, I didn't even. <laughs> no what? distress signal had been sent. <laughs> <laughs> uh, shit. All right, we'll. Uh, I'll never put on a kid's shirt again. <laughs> we'll, we'll break here. By the way, I need someone to get me into some of those buildings in uh, Kings Park. Oh, the psychiatric uh, center. Yeah, who, who's going to do this for me? Kings. What are they? Old buildings? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, they are. I was showing Anthony pictures before the show today. Kings Park Psych uh, Center. That closed down a Very while ago. Very creepy. The main building finally closed down in '96, but. It, most of the place has been closed down a lot longer than that. And you drive around this place, it is fucking creepy. And then, because I posted it over the weekend, someone, um, someone, I should repost it today. There's a website, a guy went all over Chernobyl. That's fucked up. Oh, really? Going in and out of buildings and complete towns that are just obviously deserted. Oh, yeah, deserted. And old schools Pretty and. Cool. And factories and, uh, I don't know, a whole bunch. This, uh, this one site has hundreds and hundreds of pictures on it. Do you know, like, just you, amazing. Do you know about that city in Pennsylvania? It was a mining town, and there's a fire under the, under the town. It's like, oh, yeah, I guess yeah, there's yeah, oil, yeah. and they had to abandon the coal, it. Coal was on fire. Oh, well, oh whatever no it is. But it it's a, it's, it, they can't, they can't be put out, and so they abandon the whole town. It's like, uh, yeah, yeah. That's shit. 150 I'm, miles from here. My my girl doesn't understand. I'm like, I love that <laughs> stuff. I would love to explore in, in these buildings that have uh, been abandoned years ago. Not in Chernobyl, I would. I would love to safe. go to old, uh, like uh, rail, you know, uh, train stations. Yeah. You know, I that that uh, show, Cities of the Underground. Oh my God, I love all of that. Yeah. So we've been trading websites all weekend long of other places. Just like a ghost town. Oh, I, I got to I gotta do my research for you. Continue. But someone sent me a website of a, just a little ghost town in the middle of the Midwest that they had yeah. abandoned. And they called it the most toxic place in America or something like that. Same thing, an old baseball field that hasn't been used in years and houses and schools. You ever see where they make these reservoirs and they had to abandon towns and they just dam off these areas and, and, and pour water in for a reservoir? And divers have been in there and there's like streets and telephone poles no. and houses where's that? Un under fucking water. Is there a website for that? It's got to be. Wait, where's that? I don't know why I just repeated your uh, question. I, th I think there was one up in upstate New York. But um, seriously, yeah, I've heard I've heard about these places. Why do they get abandoned? Because uh, there's a government. There was a government project years ago where it's like, hey, we're building a reservoir here. Get the fuck out. And they tell them to get the fuck out. And they, they just load it up with water, damn it off, load it up. And then underwater, you could see like a little town streets, or a little town underwater. See if Holy anybody shit. has umbrellas there, right? <laughs> yes, Please find Jim. that video. Someone had yes, to have made Jim. video of that. <laughs> Very cool. All right, we can talk about that a little more after the break too. But yeah, someone's got to get me into the Kings Park uh, buildings, <laughs> yeah. I, or I'll do. I'll just do it myself. What, what's the ticket on that? What did ah, he get you for? Trespassing. That's about it. Yeah, not criminal, right? Night in jail, possibly. Maybe. Yeah, probably something like that. Ooh. Night in jail. Night in jail, Suffolk County. <laughs> I could handle that. Yeah. As long as it's not the tombs. You got some good pictures. Yeah, for the for uh, yeah, the story. It. Why not? Sure. All right, we'll break here. Stay there. Rob, bitch, rob, rob, bitch, bitch, rob, bitch, 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 bitch